Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Vader Man Studios. In the last video, we did symbols. Uh, we use symbols in order to override default iterator behaviors. And so in this one, uh, we're going to kind of extend on that. If you remember, we use this keyword called let inside of our for loops. So we're going to go over what let is. Let is basically variable scoping. If we use that instead of var, we can keep a, sco uh, we can keep a variable within the scope or the brackets. So uh, if we wanted to look at that, we're just going to do an if true here. And inside of this if true, we're going to say let m equal 5. And then we're going to say console, so console.log m. And then down here, we're going to say console.log m. Uh, in previous versions of JavaScript, you'll know that if you used var inside of uh, this, uh, this scope here, then it would be accessible out here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. And we're going to go over to our nightly build. I think I used M before, so I'm actually just going to refresh the page so that we clear out all our variables. I'm going to paste it down here and run it. Uh, and you'll see that we have reference M is not defined, and we have 5. That did it out of order. That's kind of goofy. So we logged out 5 here. And then you see that the uh, console log M is not defined. If I were to... Uh, change this up. So let's change this to P. Let's get rid of this line and let's make this P just to prove a point. You'll see that it just immediately says P is not defined. Now that we've shown that, we can also uh, use this uh, let inside of non conditional block scoping. So basically, let's just get rid of this. If I just had a block here, uh, without any condition or loop or anything, and I just said let x equal to 9, uh, and then try to do console.log x. We'll also get a uh, out of scope, so let's run this. And you'll see x is not defined. If we were to put the console log in here, uh, console.log x, we'll at least get 9 printed out here. So now that we have uh, understood uh, variable scoping and we've used it inside of a non-conditional block as well as a conditional block, uh, we'll take another look at it being used inside of a for loop. So let's jump back over here. We'll just make a for loop. So for let b equal to 0, b is less than 3, b plus plus, console.log b. And if we tried to do console.log b outside of that scope, it should not work. So we'll copy this, jump back over to Firefox, paste it, and run it. You'll see 0, 1, 2 here, and reference b is not defined because it's outside of the scope. So by using the keyword let, we can constrain variables to certain scopes so that they cannot be used outside of that scope. Um, so that's basic, that's basic scoping. We saw it used inside of classes as well in the last video. It works the same. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment box below. Um, and if you want to see another video, uh, let me know. And uh, I guess until next time, I'll talk to you later.